What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm a high priestess intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my channel, uh, Virgo, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,160 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's high priestess profile. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do. Um, yeah. I received some channelings in. I heard Virgo, and then I received some channelings, so I'm going to um, do yours next. It's a bonus reading for June of 2022. Um, hope everybody is doing well. I do. Um, this can resonate if you have birds in any aspects to your charts. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, and north node signs as well. Um, for additional message or messages, one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. These are psychic intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. You're welcome to check me out on Yelp if you'd like and leave a review if you feel guided to do so. If my services have resonated for you. Um, because you know I pull in the good and the bad. So if they resonate, they resonate. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So the first one I heard, uh, an inheritance is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. So some kind of inheritance energy. That was the first one. The second one, I heard a blown up meth lab is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. That, that was the second one. So some kind of blown, it sounds like it's already happened in the universe. Um, an already blown up meth lab. Now, however, that's about to become significant in your, in your life. Only you know how that is about to become significant. Um, and the third one, I heard... Um, um, an Aries is about to betray a um, Virgo in a huge way. Um, you're not seeing this coming. An Aries um, is about to, oh, you're about to transmute the energy in a huge way. A huge way. Okay, an Aries is about to betray a Virgo, Virgo in a huge way. Um, you're not see, you're about to see this coming, so it's upcoming in the universe, it sounds like. But I heard um, you're not going to see this coming. Um, but you're going to transmute the energy in a positive way. Sounds like for you, for your benefit. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Verbs. Uh, some kind of inheritance energy um, for one, for one, some kind of already blown up meth lab about to become significant. Maybe you're helping investigate this. Maybe you made the meth lab or profited off of it. I'm not sure. Um, and uh, Aries energy. They can be masculine and Aries. They can have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or so many energy in their charts. Or they're about to betray you in a huge way, but you're about to basically transmute the energy um, in a positive way to benefit you. So transmuting an energy is basically turning the energy around for it to benefit you. A free anybody doesn't know what transmutation is. So um, you plug it in. How it resonates, birds. Share messages you can. Very much good to have a time, And a Virgo and a Pisces is about to get into a huge falling out soon. Huge. And a Virgo and a Pisces is about to get a, into a huge falling out soon. Huge. And a Virgo and a Libra. So a Virgo and a Pisces and a Virgo and a Libra is about to get into a huge falling out soon. So a huge argument. Hopefully it's not a physical altercation. Hopefully it's verbal. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Some kind of huge falling out um, with a, um, some with a Pisces, some with a Libra. It could be masculine or feminine Pisces, masculine or feminine Libra. They could have Pisces or Libra and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy for charts. If that resonates and applies for you, Virgo. Um, hopefully it's not physical. Hopefully it is verbal. Um, whatever this falling out altercation and energy is. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. A t-shirt business is about to tank into the ground. Okay, I heard a t-shirt business is about to tank into the ground. So you plug it in how it resonates. I feel like it could be your t-shirt business or somebody you're connected to's t-shirt business. But some kind of t-shirt business is about to tank into the ground. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo.
A Virgo is about to return stolen money to the police soon. It's about to return, uh, create many series of chain events. Know this, many. And a Virgo is about to return stolen money to the police soon. It's about to create many series of chain events. Know this. Positively for you, about to be asked to give information on criminals. Okay, so, um, one of you guys is about to return stolen money to the police soon, it sounds like. So kudos to you. That resonates for you. Um, but it sounds like when you return the stolen money, you're about to be asked to give information on criminal or criminals when you uh, return the stolen money. So just know that if that resonates and applies for you. It sounds like you haven't returned the stolen money yet, but you're about to. Um, but it sounds like it's going to go positively for you if that resonates and applies for you, Virgo. Uh, so some kind of one of you guys is going to return stolen money only you know your story not anybody else so you plug it in how it resonates only you know if you have stolen money and you're about to return it to the police or not but if you are about to return it to the police i heard um you're going to be asked to give information on criminal or criminals so just know that spirit messages you have for some virgo a virgo is about to be asked to be part of a swinger situation soon it would not be smart. These people have STDs. Oh, a Virgo is about to be asked to be a part of a swinger situation soon. It would not be smart. These people have STDs is what I heard. Wow, they're flying in. So you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. Uh, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe. But one of you guys is about to be asked to be a part of a swinger situation soon. So, you know, like, um, swinger. Um, communal sex, basically. Um, yuck, look, ah. but I heard it wouldn't be smart because they have STDs. Um, hopefully they don't have HIV. Um, that, that's serious shit out there. Just saying, just saying. Some STDs are treatable with medication and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I wouldn't want no HIV. That, I wouldn't want any of them, but I'm just saying. Spirit messages you have for signs of our I feel got to get one more. Spirit messages you have to An ex-wife is about to become very a very negative part of your life soon. An ex-wife is about to become a very negative part of your life soon. So if this resonates for you, Virgo, you have an ex-wife. Um. I feel you could be masculine or feminine, but you have an ex-wife. Um, I heard they're about to be a, become a very negative part of your life soon. So I think they're a karmic energy to you. They do not mean well for you. Um, and they're about to cause some, or they're either going to cause chaos or conflict in your life, or they're going to try to. How that resonates. Um, whoever this ex-wife energy is and how they apply for you. So just be careful if that resonates for you. Frying pan, trouble, accusations, funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned, mice, discord among friends or family. That could be the ex-wife energy for some I'm feeling. Cassie, Melissa, D, Santos. Cassie, Melissa, D, and Santos is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Cassie, C A S S I E, Melissa, uh, D, D is in dolphin. Uh, so, and Santos, S A N T O S. To me, I feel that could be a first name, middle name, last name, nickname, initial, because we heard D, D is in dolphin. So you plug it in how it resonates. First name, middle name, last name, initial, uh, nickname, etc., etc., etc. Cassie, Melissa, D. Santos. I feel for some of you guys that your ex-wife's name, possibly, or your name, or somebody you're connected to's name. How that resonates. Beauty.
Jessica, Jennifer, Lee, Jessica, Jennifer, and Lee is what I just heard. Jessica, Jennifer, and Lee. Susan, Jessica, Jennifer, Lee, and Susan. Okay, so Jessica, Jennifer, Lee, and Susan. Okay, for some, I feel you surely could be dealing with earth signs because you have double earth sign energy in here. Earth sign, just like yourself. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, um, Virgo, Lamb, and Mouse. They're both earth sign energy in the animal spirit decks. We have Lamb, Mouse, Tree, uh, Beauty, Trouble, Accusations, Frustration, Lessons to be Learned, Discord among friends or family. Lamb. A Virgo is really having reminiscent thoughts upon a very gentle feminine energy of their past. One Virgo is about to stand up in a huge way and about to call federal agents and report very important information on crimes that was committed against her in the past. Huge crimes. Well, that's beautiful, Virgs, if that resonates for you. That's beautiful. So it's a gentle feminine energy of your past. Um, you have positive reminiscent thoughts of her. I think she's coming in as a lamb energy in your energetic space. Um, you, um, she's gentle. I heard she's gentle and she's a femme energy. And so I don't think she, I don't think she was a karmic to you. Um, I think she either helped you or loved you or cared for you or something in some shape, form, or fashion. She's coming in as the lamb energy in your energetic space. So she never did anything harmful towards you. Um, if anything, I think she helped you or loved you or cared for you or something of that nature. And it's a femme energy of your past. I feel you could be a masculine or feminine energy if this resonates and applies for you. Um, Teresa, Tracy, Carly. Teresa, Tracy, and Carly. I heard just now too. Teresa, Tracy, and Carly. So that Teresa, Tracy, and Carly. So that could be your name. Somebody you're connected to his name, first name, middle name, last name, nickname, etc., etc., etc. But how that resonates, it's a feminine energy of your past. Feminine energy of your past. I heard she's very gentle. Um, I don't think she was ever a karmic energy to you. Now, karmics are people that harm people. Um, they don't mean well for people. They harm um they harm them in some shape, form, or fashion. And um they, or they attempt to harm them. Um, and that's just the truth. Um, they try to destroy their career, their looks, their money, something, something. They do not mean well for them. But I heard for one of you guys, you're about to stand up. You're about to stand up. And I heard call federal agents to reveal very important information on this feminine energy of crimes that were committed against her. So we have the lamb energy here. She was very gentle to you. I think she brought a gentle touch to you. For some, you could have been in a relationship with her. For some, maybe not. Uh, maybe it was platonic. Maybe it was um, um, personal. You, you have to plug it in how it resonates, but I don't think she ever did you any harm. I think she did nothing but bring positivity or light or gentleness or love or caring to your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Mouse, maybe for some it was humor, possibly, but she's coming up as a lamb, so I'm feeling gentle, gentle, um, gentle touch energy. Mouse. Daryl, Dwayne, Daryl and Dwayne is what I just heard. Daryl and Dwayne too. So Daryl or Dwayne, that could be your name or somebody you're connected to's name, first name, middle name, last name, nickname, etc., etc., etc. Daryl and Dwayne, Mouse.
A Virgo is about to transmute the energy on an air sign in a huge way. For some, it's a masculine air sign. For some, it's a fem air sign. Criminal and liar. Okay, I heard a Virgo is about to transmute the energy in a very positive way um, on an air sign. For some, it's a fem air sign. For some, it's a masculine air sign. Um, I heard they're a criminal and a liar. So for some, it's a masculine air sign. For some, it's a fem air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, name, Jupiter charts. If this resonates and applies for you, Virgo. But you're about to transmute the energy. Um, I think they're going to come off an energy at space as a mouse. They're about to be scared. Um, once you, I mean, not in the scare for my life kind of way, but, uh, you know, um, scared because you are about to transmute it in a positive way and scare them because I think you're about to transmute it and create negative series of chain events for them is what I think. And they're about to be scared because they're no, their ass, ass is about to be exposed. Um, that's exactly what I feel. For some, it's a fem air sign. For some, it's, um, I heard a liar and a criminal. For some, it's a um, masculine. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I think they're about to be uh, timid and scared because their ass is about to be exposed. Um, it's kind of like turning on the light and then the mouse is like, they're over there eating your big ass chocolate cake. That's what I feel. An unexpected visitor at the door soon. An unexpected visitor at the door soon is what I just heard. So some of you guys is about to get unexpected visitor at the door soon. At the door soon. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Hopefully you're not scared um, of this unexpected visitor. Um, I don't feel you are, but um, I got it with the mouse energy. So hopefully you're not scared of this person, whoever this person is. Um, some kind of unexpected. Sounds like it's going. To, they're going to come to your door. Some kind of unexpected visitor at the door. For some, you could be um, manifesting them in, uh, exposing these these criminal criminals, air signs, um, whoever they are. These air signs are about to ever regret messing with you in a huge way. These air signs are about to ever regret messing with you in a huge way. So I heard these air signs are about to ever regret messing with you in a huge way. You have heavy air sign energy in here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, um, and an Aries. Um, but the air signs are about to ever regret messing with you in a huge way, if this resonates for you. And a fem energy of your past. Gentle fem energy of your past. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Tree. A family secret is about to be revealed soon to a Virgo. It's about to be life-changing to you. For some, it's incest in your family. Oh, Lord. Yikes. A family secret is about to be revealed to you for at least one of you guys. Um, I heard it's about to change your life. It's about to change your life. And for one of you guys, it's incest in your family. So this, to me, reminds me of like the family tree. Family tree energy. Um, it's about whatever this family secret is. I don't think it's regarding you. It's regarding somebody in your family. Um, and it's some kind of incest energy. I don't think it's you incesting with somebody. I think it's somebody else. But it's about, it sounds like it's going to benefit you once you learn it. And um, it's going to allow you to make changes in your life. Uh, hopefully, if it's I didn't hear it was children. God, if it's children, hopefully you get the children away from some crazy ass pedo, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but it's a, going to allow you to make changes. It's going to be beneficial to you knowing the secret to make changes in your family. Um, it's not a secret on you. It's a secret on somebody else. And for one, it's some kind of incest. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, Lord. A Leo feminine is about to become very positive influence in a Virgo's life, and a Leo masculine is about to become a very negative influence. 
a Leo Femme is about to become very uh, very positive influence in a Virgo's life, and a Leo Masculine is about to become a very negative influence in a Leo uh, in a Virgo's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. Leo Femme, Leo Masculine energy, heavy. Um, you got Aries energy, air sign, heavy air sign energy, and Leo heavy. Um, I heard a Leo Femme is about to become a very positive influence in your life. Except for one Leo feminine, huge drug user. She's about to lose her children through many series of chain of events. Pin day light action. Except for one Leo femme, huge drug drug user. She's about to um, lose her children through many series of chain of events. Pin day light action. Pin day light action is court action uh, for anybody who doesn't know. Um, oh my lord, and the pin day light is, um, uh, from my knowledge, it's quick, it's quick, it's quick. Um, so it's some kind of emergency court hearing. Um, this a femme Leo drug user sounds like she's about to be exposed for some, you could be uh, exposed her possibly for some, it's somebody else possibly. But, um, overall, it sounds like there's a Leo femme or femmes that are very positive influence or influences in your life. There's a Leo masculine or masculine is very negative influence or influences in your life. It sounds like that's upcoming. And then upcoming, there's a Leo femme drug user that sounds like they currently have custody of child or children and they're a huge drug user and they're about to be exposed. Some kind of pin day light action, um, which to my knowledge, pin day light actions are um, emergency court hearing actions. Um, it sounds like she's going to lose custody of her kids. It sounds like it's going to be proven that she's a drug user. Is exactly what it sounds like here. But you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you could help prove this. For some, maybe not. I don't know. Frying pan, trouble accusations. A Libra feminine is about to try to pin something on you in a huge way. But you're about to transmute the energy for one. For one, you did do it. Okay, I heard a leaper of Femmes about to try to pin something on you in a huge way. For one, you did do what I heard. For one, you're going to transmute the energy in a positive way. So, um, trouble and accusations of this Libra Feminine. I think they're about to they're about to pin you for something. Whoever you are, uh, Virgo, and how this resonates. For one, I heard you did do it. So, you did. It sounds like you did, you did. For one, you didn't, and you're going to transmute the energy. I, I'm thinking with evidence in some shape, form, or fashion. But you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Heavy, heavy, heavy Libra Femme energy in here is too. Um, you've got a lot of signs going on in here, so you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. A Virgo reader, a Libra Feminine is about to come back. A person from your past. Significant person of your past. She's going to want a personal reading. It would not be smart to do, to do this. It'd be smart to refuse the service. Know this. You know who this person is. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Virgo. You're um, a Virgo feminine reader. For one, you're a Virgo masculine reader. Okay, so heavy reader energy. It's at least two of you guys. One, you're a Virgo femme reader. One, you're a Virgo masculine reader. Uh, tarot card reader, I feel it. It's a Libra Femme of your past. I heard a very significant Libra Femme of your past. So you know who this person is. Uh, I think they have purveyed service or services from you before. This is exactly what I'm feeling. They could have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme in Haven and Jupiter charts. If that resonates, it applies for you, Virgo. Virgo. Uh, but you are a Libra Femme reader for one, Libra Masculine reader. I'm not Libra. I'm sorry. You're a Virgo Femme reader for one, Virgo Masculine reader for another. But it's a Libra Femme about to repurvey your services. You know this person. It is a person your past. I feel for some, she has purveyed services from you before. And I'm just being for real. Or you have known her from the past before. However that resonates. But how that resonates, um, she's going to try to come back. I heard you purvey your services. So to get a, a private personal reading from you. I heard to be smart to refuse the service. Of course, you have free will and you can take her money and do the reading. But um, it, I heard spiritual download, it wouldn't be smart to 
to do it. Um, so there's a reason why I'm hearing a spiritual download for not to do it. So there's some reason why it wouldn't be smart to do it. Hopefully you're highly intuitive and you know what this is, but you plug it in how it resonates. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I think you don't want this person to come back, but it sounds like they're about to. It's a Libra feminine. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Jupiter charts. It is a person in your path. You are readers. Popular online social media platforms for both. Popular online social media platforms for both is what I heard. So both of you guys, whether you're masculine or feminine, you have popular online social media platforms. I don't think you want this person to come back. And I'm just serious. I think you're going to be frustrated. And I think um, you have learned a lesson from this person. And I think in a karmic kind of way. And I'm just being for real. But you plug it in how it resonates. A family reunion is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. Some in a public space, some at a home. A family reunion is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. For some of you guys, it sounds like it's at least, at least two family reunions about to happen soon for you guys. You have to plug yourself in refit if you do fit. For some, it, I heard it's going to be in a public space. For some, it's, it's, it sounds like it's someone's home. It could be your home or somebody you're connected to's home or some kind of public space energy. A park. A park. Okay, so for one of you guys, a park or a public space. For one, it is your home or somebody you're connected to's home. I don't feel this uh, family reunion is going to go well for some. I didn't hear it wasn't, but I don't feel that. I say that because of the cards. We have the family tree card, family reunion energy, and we already picked up family energy in here earlier. With trouble and accusations, period of frustration, lessons to be learned, and discord among friends or family. I don't think for some this family reunion is going to go well. And I'm just being for real, according to the cards and the messages so far. I mean, it's all up in here. You good? Sorry. All right, sorry. I didn't want him to turn it off. Um, yeah. Discord among friends or family, period of frustration, lessons to be learned, trouble and accusations. I think somebody's going to start some drama at this uh, family reunion. And I'm just being for real. I think somebody's about to start some beef or some drama or something crazy at this family reunion. Hopefully, you're not in the crosshairs of this shit. Um, yikes. That's why I don't go to family reunions. That's why I don't interact with any of my family. Period, point blank, except for my kids um, and my ex-husband when I have to. Um, none of my family, and I haven't for years because they're so drama-filled. Um, but, of course, you know, I know some of you guys, I've worked with people before that love family reunions, and I have nothing against people that go to family reunions. Absolutely not. If I had a family that actually treated people with respect, honesty, morals, values, and integrity, I would love to go, but I don't. But maybe some of you guys do is my point. But my point is, somebody's about to start some beef and drama here. I feel for some of you guys at this family reunion. And I'm just being for real. I am for real, I'm for real, I'm for real. Now, for some, it might go lazy daisy, smooth, and rosy dozy, or what have you, but I don't feel for some it's going to. And I'm just being for real. I'm telling you what I'm seeing in the cards and the messages and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I, I keep it real on here. Y'all know this. Anybody's been me a hot minute. And I don't feel for a lot of you guys it's going to go well. I think something's going to pop off of this family reunion, like beef or drama or shit starting or something. And I'm just being for real, okay? Hopefully it's a little forewarning. Cancer is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. For one, it's a Virgo that's about to find out they have cancer. For one, it is someone they're connected to. Cancer is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. For one of you guys, you're about to find out you have cancer. And for one, um, it's somebody you're connected to, excuse me. You're about to find out that has cancer. So some kind of cancer 
excuse me, cancer energy. Um, um, I feel actual physical ailment, ailment of cancer. I don't feel the sign cancer. Um, I heard about to find out you have cancer, so not that you're dealing with the cancer. So I feel it's physical cancer. Um, now, I don't know if it's malignant or benign. I didn't hear any of that, but um, or going to be malignant or benign. I don't know. But some kind of cancerous energy, um, I think, in your body. Um, whoever this is for and how this applies, okay? For some, it's you. For some, it's somebody you're connected to. And that could be the discord of my friends or family when they find out you have cancer or somebody you're connected to has cancer. Um, and the frustration and um, lessons to be learned, maybe. Um, how that resonates, okay? I, my condolences to whoever is about to find out they have cancer. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's terrible. A cloaking spell of a Libra femme is about to be ripped off. Ripped off. Very dark arts, Libra femme. And it's not going to come back. Know this. A cloaking spell of a Libra femme is about to be ripped off. Ripped off. Um, it's not going to come back. Know this. For one, you're going to help make this happen. You're very powerful in the spiritual realm, too. For one, you're going to help make this happen. You're very powerful in the spiritual realm, too. Okay. So some kind of uh, a Libra fem. I've been pulling a Libra fem very heavy in here. Um, there's a Libra fem that practices on the dark side. Now I'm just being correct. Hold on one second. I apologize. Hello? Hello? May I ask who's calling, ma'am? Um, why are you calling, ma'am? I'm not interested, ma'am. I'm not interested. I, I'm not interested. You have a good day, ma'am. Okay, I apologize. Okay, so yeah, so uh, heavy, heavy Libra Fem energy. Um, they can have Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Fem in Haven of Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. Um, but they practice on the dark side. They practice on the dark side, and... Um, I feel that for some, they have for years. They have for years. So much so that they have been putting a cloaking spell on them. So on their energy. They've been putting a cloaking spell on their energy. Um, they've been masking their energy to others. So they really practice on the dark side, but they want people to think they're on the light side uh, with this cloaking spell um, that they have conjured up or have helped conjure up. Um, but however that resonates, um, I heard it's about to be ripped off. So it's like the mask is about to be ripped off. The bitch is about to be ripped off. It's about to be ripped off on them. And for one of you guys, you're about to help rip it off. I heard you're very high in the spiritual realm too. Now, whether you practice on the dark side or the light side or what have you, what have you, I don't know. But somehow you are about to help rip the bitch off. The false mask of this Libra femme that has been using this cloaking spell I think to the 3D world and the, her world and her community, whether it's social media, 3D or both, and rip, gonna rip the bitch off, basically, which is the mask, the false mask. Um, and I think it's gonna cause discord among her friends or her family, or maybe your friends or your family or somebody's friends or family when the um, bitch is about to be ripped off. You know it needs to be done. One, you're going to be shocked. Okay, I heard. You, okay, so one, you know it needs to be done. One, you know the false mask needs to be ripped off. And one, you're going to be shocked when this um, mask is about to be ripped off. I heard it's going to like, come, it, like it's going to come off. Like, it doesn't sound like it's coming back on. I mean, it's kind of like, it reminds me of like uh, Man in the Iron Mask. Um, where, you know, 
on the movie where they're trying so hard to rip that fucking um, metal mask off. And oh, dear God, it looks fucking painful. But it's like, but it finally gets it off. Finally fucking gets it off. Uh, I don't feel it's going to come back on. If this is about to be permanent. And it's going to be a snowball effect. This is about to be permanent, and it's about to be a snowball effect, is what I heard. So, so the bitch about to be ripped off, this false mask, this cloaking spell. Sounds like the cloaking spell is about to just go. And one of you guys, you're very fucking high in the spiritual realm. I, I think you're going to help remove this cloaking spell from this Libra fan. Dark, secret dark art spiritualist. And I'm just being for real. For one, you're going to be shocked it's going to be removed. So you have to plug yourself in where it fits. But one, you're going to help remove it. But how does that resonate? Permanent, permanent removal here. Permanent. Um, it's kind of like, um, you know, like, um, something permanent, like a tattoo, kind of like a tattoo, permanent tattoo, permanent. It's about the permanent removal of this cloaking spell. So she's not going to be, be able to hide who she really is, basically. Um, however, that resonates, Virgo, very strong. A younger Virgo feminine, 35 and below, you have a hidden camera in your home. It'd be very smart to scan your space. Oh, my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so younger Virgo fem, you're 35 or below. You can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb in Hamid, Jupiter charts. I heard you have a camera in your home, hidden camera in your home. Be smart to scan your space. So, ma'am, if this resonates for you, um, you're younger, well, I classify as older in this row. I'm 38, but you are 35 or below. You could have Bergs in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter charts. I heard you have a hidden camera in your home. It'd be smart to scan your space. That's at least for one of you guys. You're a Virgo fem. Um, that could be the frustration lessons to be learned too. Uh, whoever you are, I don't think, maybe you were highly intuitive and you suspected it was in there. I mean, hopefully this is your confirmation if you feel this is for you, message is for you. One of you guys got a damn hidden camera in your house, so be smart to scan. They've got a hidden camera detector on iOS and Android. When I was pulling in this shit two, two and a half years ago, they didn't have that shit free on iOS and Android. They do now. So maybe somebody needs to upload that on your app, hidden camera detector. There's many of them. And scan your space for some hidden cameras. If you feel that resonates for you, hopefully that's just for one. Oh, my Lord. A Virgo feminine, 35 and below. Your your husband has been making a lot of money off of you through a hidden camera. A lot of money. It'd be very smart to scan your space, too. For one, you are a reader that has a camera in your space. Oh, my God, there's at least two of you. There's at least two. Oh, my God. One, you're a reader. You're a Virgo fan reader, 35 or below. You have a hidden camera in your space. Somebody need, ma'am, you need to check your space. Um, I'm just being for real, for real. You're a reader. I'm pulling in heavy reader energy. You're a reader. You have a camera in your space, ma'am, for one. For one, your husband you were married, legally married, and your husband is, I heard they've been making money a while off you undressing. And it sounds like he implanted the hidden camera in your space. Fire sign husband, heavy Leo placements. Fire sign husband, heavy Leo placements. So one of you guys is married to a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. He could have Aries Leo Sag in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, and Jupiter charts. But... It sounds like he implanted the hidden camera in your home where you undress. I don't know if this is a bathroom, a bedroom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I heard he's been making money off you a while. Ma'am, you need to check your space too. You're both Virgo Thems and you're both 35 or below if that resonates for you. Somebody needs to check their space. I heard he's been making money off you a while. Your own husband. How disrespectful is that? If you guys find the cameras, please let me know. Please. I would love to know. I really would love to know. This is so sick. And I hope you divorce that asshole and you get a hell away from him, ma'am. 
for the one that's devo uh, legally married to this fire sign, uh, heavy Leo placement dude, whoever he is. Beauty. A beauty box is about to come very significant in a Virgo's life. For one Virgo, they're about to send a beauty, bo beauty box to someone as a gift. Well, that's beautiful. I heard a beauty box is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. So one of you guys, I think you're going to, going to purchase a beauty box or have somebody purchase it for you. Or maybe it's a gift that's going to be gifted to you. How that resonates with some kind of beauty box energy. I love beauty boxes when I can afford them. Um, but um, that's beautiful. And for one, I heard you're going to um, get someone a beauty box. So um, beauty boxes are fun. They're very fun. I love them. Um, if I, when I um, bank up my money, I'm going to do a beauty box. Um, well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you my idea. But I am planning on doing something with a beauty box down the line when I do purchase one. Just to let you know. But some kind of beauty box energy. One I feel you're going to purchase it or have somebody purchase it for you or it's going to be gifted to you or something. For one, you're going to gift it to somebody else. Beauty box energy. Once one of these Virgo feminines finds the hidden camera in their space, they're going to create many negative series of time events. For others, many. One, they're going to go to the police about the past and the present. Well, you go with your bad self, Virgo, um, Fem. One of you guys, it sounds like you're going to find the hidden camera. There's at least two of you guys in the universe that has it in your space. Whether your ex-husband, uh, not ex-husband, your current husband has implanted it there or somebody else did. One, you're a reader. One, you're married to a that toxic ass fire sign, heavy Leo placement dude that's been making money off you for a hot ass minute on it. How that resonates. But how that resonates, um... One of you guys is going to find it. it. sounds like one of you guys is going to go looking and you're going to find it. And basically, um, when you do find it, I heard you're going to go to the police about the past and the present. So current energetic space of the hidden camera energy, I'm feeling. Hopefully you put a protection order um, on somebody or sue somebody or find out who the hell did it. And something about the past. It could be hidden cameras of the past or something else that happened in the past. How that resonates. I think you're about to exert your inside beauty and take some action here um, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. There's inside beauty and there's outside beauty. And whoever this person is, somebody's profiting from somebody's external beauty um, through hidden cameras, which is really sick in the head. Uh, that's it. If you want to profit off your own self, then go for it. But somebody else is profiting off of somebody, and that's not cool. And that's just the truth. One of you guys, you're a damn reader. A funeral is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. And a call to a Virgo soon about a cold case regarding a black magic coven death of the past is about to become very significant. Okay, death is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. So it sounds like upcoming in the energetic space, some kind of death energy. Um... For one of you guys, I don't feel like obviously it's you, it's somebody you're connected to. Um, and for one, um, some kind of cold case energy of the past regarding black magic coping um, connections. Um, some kind of cold case energy. Sounds like a phone call regarding that. From investigators. From investigators is what I heard. So some, it sounds like one of you guys is about to receive a phone call soon from investigators regarding a black magic coven death can, uh, being connected to a black magic coven of the past. That's what it sounds like here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Unexpected income upright. Number 27 could be a very significant number as well. Number 27. Number 54, 53, and 56 is significant too. Number 54, 53, and 56 is significant as well. And number 27. And 52. And 52. And 32. And 32. And, thir and 30. 
and 36, and 30 and 32 and 36, and 35, and 35, and 37, and 37, and 35, and 37. There was so many numbers, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Unexpected income upright. A person named Brandon is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. And a person named D. A person named Brandon and a person named D is about to become very significant in a Virgo's life. And a person named Lee. Okay, so a person named Brandon, a person named Lee, and a person named D. D is in do uh, dog or dino or what have you, what have you. Person named Brandon, person named Lee, L E E, I'm feeling, and a person named D. Um, D is in dino or what have you, or dog or Deuteronomy or what have you, what have you. However, that resonates. Significant hidden camera footage at a facility is about to become significant in Virgo's life, too. And significant public camera footage. Significant hidden camera footage and significant public camera footage. It's about, why are we having hidden camera footage at a facility? There should not be hidden camera footage at a facility. That's illegal. Just saying, just saying. For significant hidden camera and public camera footage. Unless the hidden, oh, 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 okay, never mind, sorry. I heard hidden camera, I did, but here's what I think the hidden camera footage is. I think it's a patient that has implanted a camera in their room, and they don't want the staff to know. That's exactly what I think. I heard hidden camera and public camera footage. Yeah, oh, that's what I think. Because, like, if you're, if there's a, pay, I think it's a facility, like a skilled nursing, assisted living, or um, maybe a hospital. Or behavioral health, well, not behavioral health, but like assisted living or skilled nursing or um, hospital. Um, I think a patient has implanted a camera in their um, room. I think they're suspecting something is going on and they want proof and evidence. So they have implanted a camera in their room. That's exactly what I think with a hidden camera in a facility. That's what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. I heard hidden camera and public camera. Significant hidden camera and public camera footage is about to become significant in a facility soon. So I think you might work there or um, you might, uh, I think you might work there or um, you were, a, or maybe your family member there. Maybe you help the family member put the camera in their room, their residence. Maybe for some, you are the patient and you have at, incorporated somebody to help implant the camera in your room because you're suspecting weird things however that resonates wow you guys a significant lawsuit with a religious organization is about to become very significant in virgo's life as well a significant or, uh, lawsuit with a religious organization is about to become very significant in virgo's life as well so you plug it in, how it resonates, some kind of lawsuit energy with a religious organization. I feel they could be placing it on you or you could be placing it on them. How that resonates, Virgo? Only you know your story, not anybody else. Love you guys so much. Hope this helped. And I'm going to say.